In this video, I want to take a look at some other ways that we can make labels. We can even say that these labels look like text boxes sometimes as well, different areas to hold text. So what we're going to do in the video prior, we looked a lot at working with the rotate tool and we looked at combining shapes. Now we're going to look at combining shapes in this one, but even some other things, other cool things we can do with shapes. So let's get started. So I'm going to begin and I'm actually going to draw a rounded rectangle in the center and I'm going to come again and I'm going to draw a rectangle around this shape. Now what I want to do before I start altering it is I'm going to grab it and I want to align it. I want to center it. Now, if you do not see this on your control on this panel up in here, you can also open up the align window and choose it from there. Wonderful. Next step, I'm going to click on to my rounded and I'm going to bring it on down, change the shape of it. Then I'm going to come to this rectangle. I'm going to do the same. I'm going to bring it on in. Now what I want to do is I want to actually double click the point in here, but I can also really just come on in and look at my transform window. And when I look at my transform window, I can come down and I can see the rectangle properties. Now I want to look at the corners and shift the corners and I can see I can hover. I have these other options. I can do an inverted round or I can do a chamfer. I'm going to choose inverted rounds. Come on in. Oopsie. Didn't even need to select that one. Inverted rounds. Come on in over here. Inverted rounds. Inverted rounds. Excellent. I can click off of this. Now, if I'd like to as well, I can bring this in a little bit more. I'll leave it like so. I might want to come on in and even make this a little bit smaller. And there we have it. My next step that I want to do is I'm going to select this object and I'm going to come to my Pathfinder window and I'm going to merge these two shapes. Now in order to add the stroke, I want to duplicate this and add the stroke, but I could, that's one way I could do it, but there's a much easier way as well. We can come on up to object and we can come on down to path. And let's come to offset path and let's do a preview. Okay. And we can see what we're doing here is we're adding a second one, a second, a second shape. And we can even look at the corners as well. We could do rounded corners if we'd like to, we could do bevel corners if we like to. So we can really see that there are a lot of possibilities here. I'm going to go for the round and I'm going to hit okay. Now the next thing I want to do is I'm going to turn on this shape right here and I'm actually going to turn off the fill and I'm going to turn on the stroke, turn on the stroke and there we have it. Okay. Now in order to get the dashed line, I can do another thing here. I can come on up to window and I can turn on stroke and sometimes it's turned on. If you don't see it, what I like to do is turn it off and then turn it on. And there we have it. In order to get a dash line, I can just click on to here and you can really play around with the dash point size and the gap between. Um, but I actually kind of like what I have here. I'm going to select these two shapes, but actually I'm just going to select the shape below because I don't want a shadow underneath the stroke and I'm going to add my shadow. So I'm going to come on in to effect. And I'm going to come to stylize, stylize, and I'm going to add a drop shadow. I can do a little preview. I'm going to hit OK. And there we have it. I'm going to go through and do a couple more. I'll put it, I'll fast forward it a little bit so it moves a little bit quicker. But just from those different things that I've showed you, there are endless possibilities with these strokes as well. Okay, so what we can see is that as we work, that we follow the steps that were outlined previously. So we really are choosing our shapes and then we're coming into the transform window and we can change the way that the shapes are oriented. Then we find two shapes that we like and we align them once we have them looking the way we want to. And then we merge them through the pathfinder after they are merged to the Pathfinder, the next step is to do 
an offset path. Then we can add, you know, rounded, we can have it a bevel look. Um, and then our last step is to come on in and to add our drop shadow. Again, there's a lot of different ways that this can end up looking based on the shapes that we choose, the color that we choose. If we choose to do a stroke, if we choose to do a dashed line, or a line that is not dashed, just a simple stroke. Lots of possibilities.